So here's some progress for post-op. This is day 10, so into week two of the exercises. Now the exercises are mostly the same. There's a couple of new ones. I just want to show you my progress and I'm going to give you some couple of tips for those of you who are entering or inside week two, around about day 10, when you're about to get your stitches out soon, um, what your progress should be like, what your parameters should be, um, what you're not allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. It's still very much tight through here. The swelling's gone, but I'm a lot more capable. You can see I can hold my arm here and it's not hurting. Now this is called weaning. So when I, I'm allowed to come out of the sling for periods of time when you're resting or doing your exercises, throughout the day so if you're resting down watching tv or if you're sitting in a chair where you've got a bit of support you can take it out of the sling and it's good too because it does do a tiny little bit of activation which is helpful but you're not allowed to move or do any sharp movements so whenever you're walking or doing things around the house or out and about you've got to be in your big sling now when you're in your shower what i've doing i'm not going to show you how to shower but when i'm in, when you're in the shower i have a little triangular sling that can get wet so just a normal triangular sling you can put over that just rest your arm and then you can shower by yourself easy peasy now if you still need a bolster in here what you can do is put on i put on a um a lumber roll and just put around there with a bit of elastic and just help me out there i don't need that now because i'm at day 10 so the last few days i've just been wearing a little sling around my neck having a shower easy peasy so um, at this stage, you're still doing passive movement, so you're not allowed to do active arm swinging, anything like that. You're still inside week two, and it's complete passive movement. And so always, you've got to make sure you are cradling. Whenever you do exercises, you're cradling this arm, okay? So whenever you're doing flexion, I would still stick to being bent over in this deadlift position like this, and trying to do your flexion like this. Now, you can see how much movement I've got now. So I'm actually past 90 degrees. So 90 degrees is your two-week goal. And I'm already past that. I don't want to push it further. So don't try, if you've hit your goal, don't go past and try and get more and more and more. You're just going to aggravate things. And at this stage, you don't want to be aggravating anything. So this sort of movement is really good. And every time I move it, it frees it up. And this is why you have to do it three or four times a day. You have to get out in the morning, six o'clock, get out, do it before lunch, do it after lunch, do it before you go to bed. Do it four times a day. You're going to spend about half an hour doing these exercises because every one of these is three sets of flexion and I'm doing 20 reps so three sets of 20 reps of this now what I've been mixing up because my flexion range is good what I can sneak in a little bit is doing it then standing up so this part here now I can only get to about there now because it's a little bit different when you're standing up compared to when you're bent over because there's gravity you've just got to be careful that this arm here is always holding on there's a natural ability or natural sort of Thing where your brain wants to use your arm now it's my left arm right so it wants me to use my arm but you've got to stop that happening because as soon as you start activating that arm too much it's going to start hurting and put too much load through the tendons now especially that supraspinatus that's what the one we really got to worry about is making sure we don't do any active movement like this anything like that where you're swinging your arm it's always got to be cradled for the initial sort of first three weeks and again there's no isometric really work on this so there's no strength thing it's just activation. But the good thing about this exercise, these ones, is when I, every time I move, so this is the abduction, adduction one, every time I move, there's a tiny little activation. So don't be worried about losing bulk or losing muscle tone or anything like that because there is some activation work going on. But it's just not, you don't want the full load of your arm hanging there. You want to be cradled all the time through here whenever you move. And every now and again, maybe hold it tight to try and really think about it. And you've got to, perhaps not talk but think about these exercises while you're doing them to make sure are you relaxing am I am I actually relaxing that arm and holding with the other one so I'm doing minimal muscle work on my injured one and mostly passive range of movement work now the interesting thing about abduction before I was doing like this but now I've got the confidence to use my wand so this is again just a pole in my dad's garage because you can see I'm at, my, I'm at my parents' place. This wand, see, see, I have to be quite careful, but I can actively just get it down there, and then I can let it hang. And then what I'm gonna do here, now this one you have to really think about, I do not want to be active at abduction. So this one here, I'm gonna go and push it with my right arm. Now my goal was 60 degrees here. Now I do not wanna go any further than 60 degrees. Now, at the start of this week, three days ago, I was hitting about 30 degrees. 
Now, every time you do it, three or four times a day, you get it further. And by the third set, this is why I want you doing three sets, is you get out to 45, and oh, this is good, and it actually makes it less sore. Okay, so the more movement you get, within reason, the less sore you are. And you can see how now I'm getting out here. Now, I've just got to make sure that when every time you do this, you just do two or three, reset, and just gently pull your shoulders down into a good posture, and then push that out again. So you're actually doing proper abduction with that. And again, stop, rethink, am I activating my shoulder? Try and relax that shoulder. Just push with your good arm and then let it fall in. So the weight of your arm is definitely, the weight is on that one because you do not want to be actively using that deltoid because it's, guess what? It's going to pull on that supraspinatus attachment. Now, because I've had a tenonesis, therefore my bicep Every now and then lets me know and gives me a bit of a pangs of pain. So you've got to be careful at the front of the shoulder, not doing any active movement forward or sort of rotation moves or any quick movements or anything like that, or anything gripping, because it's going to activate where it's been screwed in there. And that you've just got to, again, you've got to heal it, you've got to rest it. But don't worry about the atrophy part. Your tone will come back naturally by doing things. And as the weeks go on, you'll build it back and back and back. So don't be stressed about that. External rotation this week, the limit is still zero degrees. So you've got to be careful that you don't go past that. There's a little trick for that, but I would still do it lying down. You do not do it standing up because that'll activate it too much. So it's still got to be passive. So you do it lying down. So with this one, it's a lot easier to get down and up. As long as you keep that arm, you notice I just keep that arm next to my side. And you still need a pole or a wand. And what you're going to try and do is, initially, I couldn't get this to zero degrees. So at this point here, I'm now up to zero degrees. Now initially, if you remember, I could only sort of get to about there. I could probably only get to about 45 degrees. Now, because it's day 10, I can get up to zero, but that's my limit. You do not want to go any further than that. And you notice I'm still supported by the pillow, because if I have my arm down, it's into extension, it pulls too much on that bicep tendon, which is no good. So this one, you have to keep it passive. You've just got to keep the, the weight of your arm on that pole and then use your right arm, which is my non-affected arm, to push out to zero degrees. And if you look down, if you get your arm in a little bit, you'll get to that, you'll notice whether you're zero degrees or not, okay? And then bring it back in again. I remember the most important thing, healing, range of movement, but don't push it, let it rest, ice it up, and then start again next time. See you next week.